Is stamping a knife bad? We often get asked by customers for knives that have not been stamped, but is stamping a knife really indicative of its quality? Stamping a knife involves pressing the knife through a mold to create its final shape. Some alternatives would be laser cutting, grinding the excess away, or trimming the excess away. You might be surprised, however, to learn that some of your favorite blacksmiths are stamping their knives. Bruce and Hamono is a great example of this. They make some of the best knives in the world, but they are stamped. Stamped knives get a bad rap because of those ones that you find at the grocery store. But these knives are not bad because they're stamped. They're bad because they use low quality materials. They have low quality control during production and an emphasis is placed on the quantity of knives produced rather than the quality of the knives produced. They also don't feature great grinds and they are not sharpened very well. Rus and Hamono, on the other hand, uses very high quality materials. They heat treat their knives properly. They put great grinds on their knives and sharpen them by hand. And they put a lot of emphasis on the attention to detail to ensure that you get a great knife with great fit and finish. 